Today's snow kept workers at Bangor International Airport pretty busy. Yeah, it wasn't very heavy. There wasn't a ton of it, but maintenance crews at the airport had to work around the clock to keep the planes coming in and out. News at Maine's Hannah Yashivi takes us to the tarmac. People tend to stress out whenever heading to the airport to catch a flight, especially on snowy days. A huge relief at Bangor International Airport Thursday. The arrival and departure screens showing almost all on time, making that so behind the scenes a big operation. It's a 24 hour uh, process and many, many times it's over many days uh, and nights. Davis and his team take plows out in rounds to clear the runway one behind the other. Work on what needs to be done to prepare for arrivals and departures. And that work involves plowers, blowers, brooms, and airplane de-icers. The Bangor International Airport plows more than two miles or 38 football fields every single snow day to keep these airplanes behind me to get safely to their destination. The eventual destination for this couple today, Florida arriving at the airport from Greenville three hours before scheduled takeoff. This is round two. Round two after having weather and airplane maintenance issues a week ago when they were supposed to catch a cruise. And then after four hours of waiting in the plane, they finally said we weren't going. And then we couldn't get on to the get the flight in the next day to get to the ship on time, so everything just got canceled. There are about 25 operations team members at the Bangor Airport keeping Rydell and others moving. The work outside is actually sort of a science. So they are watching the temperature of the air, the temperature of the pavement, what type of precipitation has fallen, is falling, is expected to fall. Working with one goal in mind, safety. It's always a uh, last option to close, but first option if it's safety related. Airport officials say in the end, the airlines decide when to cancel or delay flights. In Bangor, Hannah Yashivi, New Center, Maine.